Hello and welcome and thank you for joining us today. We're going to take a walk through our 2020 tile launch um, and I want to uh, introduce my counterparts here. Daniel Clay will be joining me as well as our photographer who you won't see but he's behind the camera. I'm working some magic. Um, we're going to take a special approach to our presentation today very different than you've seen in the past. Um, we're going to take a look at all of our launches but from a marketing perspective and give you some insight behind how we showcase product on our tools and also inspiration on how to coordinate our products with other series um, and show you some beautiful installations. But before we get started, before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about inner ceramic. Um, for many of you that don't know a lot about us, I'm sure there are many of you that do. And we've been manufacturing ceramic tile for over 40 years. We have 10 factories located in North America. And in those 10 factories, we have the capacity to produce over 60 million square feet of tile. And in that 60 million square feet, we can inventory a minimum of 25 million square feet in our US distribution centers. And what that means for you is that we can provide that product to you um, for your customers on a quick turnaround. And in addition to that, we have 300 employees that are dedicated to servicing you here in the US. So all of this information is one comprehensive plan that allows us to be an extension of your business and help you become successful selling your ceramic. So some of the highlights you're gonna to see today for our new product launches. We're looking at um, competitively priced large format 18 by 36. Um, each series is gonna be rounded out with decoratives as well as trims. And you're going to be introducing some very unique um, sizes and options uh, and shapes for you this year that we're going to be excited to show you. As well as rectification, polished porcelain, and of course, offering you design options that will complement all of our product categories. So um, as a summary, what you're going to see are five new Doratec porcelain launches, nine new door body ceramics, and two new beautiful wall tile collections that are made right here in the USA. Um, so for many of you, your displays are probably already set up and you've had your distributor rep come out and visit you. Um, if not, you probably have the kit sitting in your um, warehouse or they're on the way to your location um, as we speak. So what I just encourage you to do is if your display is not set up and you have received your kits or are about to receive them, make sure you know where they are. Put them in a location so when your distributor representative comes to help set up your display, you can locate them quickly. And more importantly, I want you to take a look in the kit. You're going to get a package of launch summaries. This is a great tool for you to use as a reference. It goes through all of the new launches that we're going to talk about today. So all of our 2020 launches. And then it gives you a quick overview of everything we launched in 2019. So as I mentioned, it's a great tool. It gives you all the colors, sizes, and information you need. You can, you can fold it up, put it in your pocket, put it in your back pocket, carry it around with you and use it as a, as a tool when you're working with your customers. There should be a pack of 20 or 25 in there, so uh, plenty for you and your coworkers, so make sure you share that. So before we get started on some product, just wanna to talk to you a little bit about some changes and evolution in our marketing messaging. Um, you know, Prior to this year, we did a lot of focus on technical attributes and we redesigned all of our marketing tools in 2016. And we took that approach of helping you sell the products to your customers. So all the boards were very much geared towards information you needed to know about the product, but that information was front and center. Now we're looking at what are the consumers, what are the end users looking for? And what information is important to them when they're coming in and they're shopping your displays? And what that is, it's about what's important. It's their family, it's their everyday life. So when we're talking to those customers, we're talking less about technical information and more about things that are important, like being family friendly, being easy to clean, being pet friendly, allowing yourself to have the comfort of buying a product that you know is gonna be safe in your home. All that message is now front and center on all of our marketing tools. And you're gonna see a transition to that sort of content as we move forward into 2021. But don't worry because all that information that's important to you as the sales rep is still available to you on the boards. First of all, 
um, we've um, really made a change in the way we showcase our product as well. Um, we typically used to have a very sort of board that was um, swatches of small pieces, but we went into this more concept board style. So you still have product imagery close up. You have room scenes that are important to your customers so they can see what that product looks like installed. As I mentioned, that information that's important to your customer, but you still have all the sizes as well. Um, and if there's trim offering, et cetera, all of that information is still down in the bottom left-hand corner. And then on the back of the boards, um, I'm gonna just jump here real quick. On the back of the boards, you still have all of that information of your product, variation images, as well as your usage and technical charts. And one of the things that we did also um, on our new tools are you'll see some color coordinating. And that's what I'm gonna back up here for you real quick. So our DuraTech products are in the green, our Dura body has that rust color and our wall tile is that purple. So what it does is it helps, it, 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 it innately tells the consumer there's something different about those products. But as you're helping customers shop a display, it's going to help you recognize the difference between perhaps a porcelain, a ceramic, or even our wall tile. So all of this information we thought through very carefully on our boards so that we could share that with you um, and help you sell, but also help your customers being able to shop the display on their own. So in addition to our display boards, one of the things we want to make sure you understand as well is we have a comprehensive marketing package. So in addition to the display boards for each series that we introduce, we also have a designer board is what we call them, or a contractor board. So these are great for designer libraries. You can use them for um, designer uh, selections or contractors or even customers you know, that sell out of their van. These are great compact tools. They still show the entire line, all the colors. And just like the sample board, they provide you all the information on the back of the board that's needed to sell the product. We inventory these right here in the US as well. We also have what we call a tab tile rule. So these are great for loose tiles. So I know many of you, as well as your customers, love to sell showing the loose tile. This is a great tool because it gives you all the information you need, but kind of hides the information from the covering up the product. So it goes over the top. You have a series name. You have all the colors and the size information on the front. But then on the back of the board, you have another room scene, as well as the variation panels, and still all of that information. So these are great tools for loose tile um, displays. We inventory these right here in the US as well. And I'm repeating that because that's really important for you to understand is that we're able to support you much easier. And then finally, one other thing I'm gonna show you is a great little versatile tool. These are just postcards. Um, every series, we used to have brochures for every series. We just found out that they didn't get used and they weren't as um, convenient um, uh, as we used to think they were. These are just quick little postcards provide you all the information you need, but we hole punch them and we can offer also the grommets so that you can customize what's on these on these little um, grommets. So they can be rings, they can be just the new launches and you can have those sitting on your desk. So if you need to get information on other launches, they're right there. Or if you have designers that work with specific segments, say you have a designer that focuses on schools, you can take all of the collections that we offer that are specific to schools, you can put them on a ring, and you can offer them to your designer and they can have them sitting on their desk and it's a super easy tool. So we offer these by series and they're packaged, I think 20 to a pack or something like that. Again, they're inventory right here in the US. Everything, if you need it, if you have questions, just contact your distributor and they'll help you get that, um, those tools for you. So now we're gonna jump in. We're gonna take a look at some work style, okay? And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to turn this into a different approach. It's less about here are all the sizes and colors and technical attributes, but it's more about this is the story behind them. This is how we're showcasing them. This is how you can use them. So it's helping your customers take what they envision and turning that inspiration into reality. So with that said, we're going to start with four series. Um, Daniel's going to come in and help me now. We're going to start with a builder selection. I'm going to take Elysium. 
So yes, these four series are specifically designed with the builder in mind. But before we get into them, and I started to talk about this a little bit earlier, um, we've kind of morphed and evolved our boards over the years. Um, all of our boards look like this, you know, swatches of every color, um, pieces of the mosaic so that you could see everything we offered in the line. And then really when the wood looks people started to become really popular a few years ago, we got a lot of feedback about not being able to see the variation in the product. So about two or three years ago, we changed from a standard basic board like this to more of a concept board. And it was really to showcase the wood looks, which worked fabulous for us. And then as we continue to look at all of our new products and seeing how new products, some have a lot of variation, we realize the benefit of um, taking that concept into other um, designs as well. So basically the way we look at it today, and you'll probably wonder what makes one different than the other, is if it has more of a basic design or it's a solid color, you're gonna still see it on this, in this basic board. But anything that has more of a design, shade, um, texture variation from sample to sample, you're gonna see this concept board. Um, and that's how we kind of differentiate between the two. So for example, um, the four series we're gonna talk about, Lake Mott, Rock Island, Elysium and Windrose. Lake Mott and Rock Island are your entry level builder series. Very subtle stone looks, um, very popular. 12 by 24, 16 by 16, 13 by 13s, both with a mosaic and a bull nose. And then kind of the upgrade, you'll see Rock Island and you'll see Elysium, they're more, um, uh, Lizzie and Winrose, sorry about that. They're just kind of your next level. The design changes just a little bit. They also have a 12 by 24, 16 by 16, 13 by 13 in a mosaic, but that variation now allows them to be more of the concept board. And when we look at the concept boards, we're always looking at what color do we feature um, and how do we show it if we show mosaics. Um, you'll notice that we always try to show mosaics on all our boards because we do believe in order to sell the mosaics, the pretty, the bling stuff, the customers want to see them. Um, a lot of times um, we'll showcase the mosaic as a coordinating to the field tile um, feature color, or in this instance for Elysium, it'll be a contrasting color. So that just that depends on the colors of the series and the type of mosaic. Um, and that's how we take a look at that for each series. Okay. So a lot of also what we do is we, in the shows that we have in our customer showrooms that they ask for recommendations, we showcase our product in this, with the same concept. So this was a show in early 2020 where we showed Elysium again with the contrasting mosaic, but Lake Mott and Windrose we showed with more of a coordinating mosaic. Um, it's really the, the kind of the taste of your customer on which way you wanna go. But one of the images I really love to show is the one to the far right. That's Windrose and it's with our um, Walker Chevron. And I love how you can contrast a wood look with a, um, with a subtle stone look. And it's also important to remember that this is a gorgeous um, wood look with the Chevron, this whole the collection, which is Walker. Um, don't forget that your display, we may be introducing 16 or 18 new collections today, but your display is packed full of beautiful product that you probably forgot about. So certainly take some time, go ahead out and uh, you know browse through the display when you get some opportunity. I think you're gonna see some um, series that you probably forgot about and were thinking, wow, I need to, need to look at those again. Um, here you have Windrose with Connect. We'll talk a little bit about that later. And we're gonna jump into the next look. So the next look is cement tile. And before we get too far into the two collections, I want to talk a little bit about what we're going to see today. Um, <coughs> um, uh, we really kind of go out and take a look at what's trending. The cement tile look is huge right now. You're going to see a lot of the collections back here. And we certainly chose these next couple of series that coordinate with each other based on the books that you'll see. So bring those on in. We're going to start with function and form. Mm -hmm. So Daniel's probably sick of hearing me say this, but this is my cake analogy. Are you sick of it? Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. Does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, good, good. So to me, we have function. Function is the cake. 
Um, the cake comes out of the oven and it's beautiful. Function has four very neutral colors. It's a beautiful color palette. You've got a white, a light gray, a darker gray, and a black. And that's a 12 by 24, a 16 by 16, and a 13 by 13. Again, a mosaic and a bull nose. But this is the foundation, in my opinion. The cake, when it comes out, it's undecorated. And then we need to icing the cake. And as I mentioned, function and form were designed together. So form not only offers the same four colors in an eight by eight, but we've also introduced a sage and indigo blue. So it's a six color color palette, but it's got a collection of coordinating cement tile looks. So those cement tile looks can coordinate with the eight by eight solids in form or the 12 by 24 or the 16 by 16 or the 13 by 13 solids in function, which is super fun. And actually, the form decoratives can also coordinate with um, many of the other collections that we're introducing and that we offer for the history. You hold these. So what's the benefit of cement tile looks versus the real thing? Well, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. Daniel educated me. I asked a lot of questions. So um, this is the real thing. Yes, it's beautiful. Yes, it's fun and yes, it's popular, but it's also um, harder to install, it's easier to break, and it's called, it requires more maintenance. So the whole package once installed is going to cost you probably your customer 80% more than the same look and a red body ceramic tile that we offer in an 8x8, which by the way, our ceramic is more than two times stronger than any other ceramic in the industry, and that's a proven fact. Um, and it's going to be easier to install, a heck of a lot easier to maintain, and as I mentioned, 80% less expensive. So all of these looks and function and form, um, we also have um, Union, um, Union Square and 17 as other collections that offer cement tile looks. So please, as your customers come in and they're eager to get themselves the popular cement tile, Go ahead and make sure you take them over to the ceramic your ceramic display and show them some of the beautiful designs we have here. Okay? Yeah. And then finally, while these are a little more um, colorful, um, uh, we've got a little more mid-century modern collection here. So this is Connect, four colors or four designs, and you're going to see in this collection a lot of the blues and the yellows and the oranges that are still very, very grays that are still very, very much on trend. Also eight by eight. Um, and these colors can also coordinate with function. I mean, with, uh, yes, with function as well. So um, function is your cake form and connect are both your icings that you can choose from to decorate with them or with any other collection in our series. And here are some fun installation products. These are some of my two favorite com combinations. We have the Harold with the black and Harold with the indigo, super cool. Um, one of the most popular patterns I think so far in this launch. Um, this is another great example of just uh, ways that you can show product. And we like to give this example because we know floor space is a premium. We know it's harder to um, you know, even replace the floors when you wanna get new product in. But when it comes to designs like this, um, we have these um, kind of inspiration walls that we sh we have in some of our showrooms, and I certainly understand that that you know building a wall in your showroom isn't necessarily possible, but you can easily create these just two by two panels where we're mixing and matching these designed patterns with other floors and other solids and other designs. So even if you were able to take a two by two section um, or, or panel and create a design and place them throughout your showroom, it's going to help your customer envision how to use those products even um, better. And then on the right is a fun installation that we did. It's none of the new launches, but it's Gosford Park, which is one of our wood looks. And it's Fisher out of Union Square. So Gosford Park is an eight inch by 40 inch and Union Square is a eight inch by eight inch. So we just installed the wood and we kind of placed in the Fisher um, every so often in between two, um, two pieces of wood. And it just creates a very, just a unique different look. Laney, let's talk about Laney. Let me give you these if that's okay. is a special design. It's this pink and black, which is super fun. Yes, rose blush is still super popular. But Laney, 
Many people do it in kind of a starburst pattern. It can get a little weird on your eyes. But if you look at the designs on the camera on the screen, they're just very different. You can, it's a, just an example of how you can take um, that one piece of tile and create, you know, the different um, checkerboard or the inverted boxes. It's just super fun. And this was um, a design from WHA Architects. I mean, it blows your mind at how they can take one piece of tile and just create this very unique look. It's, it was a, becoming a really big wow factor. Um, here you also have Remy. These are also two linear patterns. They started out with just a little chevron effect here. And depending on how you rotate the tile, you can create unlimited designs. I say unlimited and I mean that truly because there's no necessarily rhyme or reason for how you want to place them together. In the center, you can see the white with the function gray. Okay, and here's connect, a little border around the tub as well. Okay, we're going to jump into the wood looks. One in. You know, we laugh every year. I kid around. Sure. We have to laugh every year because I think for the past five years we've been saying wood looks are so popular. Yeah, wood looks are so popular. If you think about it, it's not surprising why, right? Because wood can't go everywhere. Full well, wood can go everywhere if you want to have to worry about um, getting wet and getting molded and mildew and um, having warpage, et cetera, depending on where you install it. But when you're looking at wood look, uh, tile, you can put it anywhere in your home and you don't have to worry about any of that or scratches or denting or gouging or sanding and retention. So wood look tile is not going anywhere. It's all about now beautiful designs. Um, that we're going to be able to showcase and um, introduce to you. So the first one we're going to talk about is timberwood. Timberwood is more of a weathered wood. You're going to see all the little natural um, uh, flaws that come with nature being exposed to sun and water. It's a seven and a half by 39 inch rectified. Um, it has five colors, really a great color palette. So you've got your white, gray, and black that can coordinate together. And you got a beautiful ivory and a brown that are just stunning. The brown is actually really, really beautiful. Very rich and very um, deep brown. Railwood, named after like a rail, railroad tie, right? Tie, I keep getting my, my, my tongue stuck over that. So it has those imperfections and those, those ridges and those grains that you would find in those railroad ties. Beautiful, four colors. Um, we're always going to show our wood looks on a diagonal so that you can see more of the product and the design. We're always going to make this sure we have factory edges together so your customers can see what they look like. Um, and keep in mind, these are not intended to, to, um, to show proper installation methods because obviously we do put them together for the sake of the samples. So obviously consider grout joints when you're talking to your customers. But we're just going to have a feature color and then all of the other colors are going to be shown on the board. Um, and then finally, Rainforest is just a very nice uh, railroad and Rainforest are both 8 by 24 inch. It's just a beautiful kind of a modern, very um, sleek wood look. Again, four colors um, ranging from a very light ivory to a darker brown. Here we have Timberwood White on the left and it's showcased with hexagons. We'll talk about those later. And to the right, we have the brown in Timberwood with a new product that you'll be seeing coming out next year. We'll save the name of that so we can surprise you later. And then we're showcasing the same color, the black with that same color, just to show you how you can mix and match. I forgot to mention, yes, the pattern on the right is a little more labor intensive for installation, but you know, when your customer sees something that they want, they're gonna be willing to pay for it. And a that parquet kind of effect is still this, you know, kind of trending back in and mixing the wood with the marble is always a very classic traditional um, go-to for, for flooring. So um, these are just examples of, again, timberwood with our seaside black. We'll talk about that a little later, or wall tile, um, timberwood in the bathroom. So the other thing I like to talk about when we talk about wood look tiles is the thing with, you know, wood is that they don't have necessarily mosaics to go along with them. 
And when somebody's choosing wood looks to go into their kitchen, they're going to need a backsplash more than likely. So we love pairing natural stone mosaics with wood looks. It's one of my favorite go-tos. I don't think you can miss with a beautiful Calcutta or a beautiful white Carrara and showcasing that. Those gray, gold, beautiful bluish tones sometimes can lend themselves really well with the wood look. So if you've got a customer who's looking at wood look tile by Anna Sharnik, um, and they're remodeling their kitchen or their bathroom and they're needing um, some bling and in that installation, take them over to our, our stone display if you have it or the mosaic boards that are in your display because you're going to find a perfect match. And um, here we have actually real wood and rainforest shown with a couple of our new um, stone launches. And the bottom right hand picture is actually a two by eight split face, I believe, stone um, with railwood on the floor. And it's a perfect combination. Okay, so we're gonna move on to, I like how I can control all the heavy lifting. So I figure he deserves it. I mean, we, we work together all year long, and sometimes he, we're gonna go with Aria and Sussex. So we're gonna jump into two collections that we talk about some of the highlights, right? The first of the early part of the presentation, and they were large formats, and we talked about rectification and polishing. So Aria is the first one we're gonna talk about, that's me. Aria is a beautiful travertine um, look. It has an 18 by 36 rectify, and a 12 by 24 rectify. And they're both available in both matte and polish. So as you can see here, when we talk about Aria, one of the things we're gonna make sure we do, hey Robin, I can't get the lighting on that. Can you come? There you go, a little bit. Yes, we're always gonna show on the board the matte and the polish so that you can, customers can see larger samples of those and how they change from tile to tile. We're always going to, as I mentioned, showcase the mosaic and then the other colors also were shown in polished and matte finishes as well. So this is Aria. Um, it's going to have a stacked mosaic. It's going to have a full trim package, including coat base. And it's one of those series too that you might have to rely on the back of the board because of the polish and the matte. Again, that helps you with the larger panel images. Okay. Sussex. Sussex is one of those series that you know, we learn a lot about it after we introduce. It's designed to be sort of like a, um, a very subtle stone look, but it has this very, that's very reminiscent of a worn concrete as well. Um, so it doesn't have like its own specific um, inspiration or design exactly. Um, but it does, it's an 18 by 36 rectified as well, as well as a nine by 36 and a 12 by 24 rectified. So you've got that plank size, that plank width, that you can also install with 18 by 36. They are modular. It's cut out of 18 by 36. So you can do a lot of designs with those different sizes. It has this very cool trapeze mosaic. We're showing this in the kind of gray and then we have the other colors at the top. So one of the things we're hearing about this series is it's been great for reselections. So if you do a lot of commercial work and with a lot of the tariffs going on and reselections happening, um, in different segments and you've got a customer that's looking for kind of a stone look, kind of a concrete look, you might want to just show them Sussex because it seems to be fitting the bill for a lot of those reselections. So that's a good little tip for you if you work a lot of commercial projects. So here we have Aria shown with all three colors. Well, on the right side, I like to show how we use just even a linear mosaic very differently. So this is a, um, a bathroom installation um, the mosaic was shown on a horizontal, but yet in another bathroom, they showed the mosaic on a vertical. So it gives a completely different aesthetic to the room. Um, it kind of opens it up a little differently um, in each instance. I think a lot of people tend to want to go horizontal, um, but vertical is becoming much more popular when you have linear products like this. This is Sussex installed on the customer's floor. They actually used one of our um, other products to inlay the name um, on the floor as well. And then to the right, you'll see where we showed one of the colors at a show of ours with a complimentary decorative. Um, and uh, just want to talk a little bit about more ways that you can sh show product in your showroom. So 
we do this a lot with new products actually our robber our photographer he'll we'll just go get a couple of cartons out of the uh, warehouse and it really depends on the look especially those that have a lot of variation or there's a certain texture that we want to show we just loose lay them on the floor again this is not to in, to replicate proper installation methods we literally kind of butt them up do them in different designs but we take the pictures at angles to show the actual um, color design and even finish variation in the different products so you can do this even in your stores and you can utilize the product for social media or you can lay them out in your showroom without installing them so that your customers can see the product and more of the variation of that product it's a great way and a very inexpensive way because then you can box them right back up after you take the photos and put them back in your inventory okay so now, now we're going to jump into some of the fun that we like to say here because we have um, we talked earlier in the presentation as well about introducing some new shapes and some new sizes and that's what we're going to talk now with cortina modular and construct we're going to start with cortina i'm going to first start off by saying that all three of these series we put them together for a reason because they're beautiful and unique on their own but then we're going to wrap them back up in a pretty little package um, after we talk about each one. So Cortina is another one of our introductions like Aria has 18 by 36, 12 by 24, rectified both and both available in matte and polished. And on this board as well, we're showcasing the, there we go, the polished and the matte in both the large pieces and you can see here even on the little packs. So Cortina is a collection of different marbles. So this is one of those boards. First of all, it comes with a hexagon um, in the full package, as well as a surprise. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is one of those um, series because it has four different distinct marble looks. We've got uh, Ordiglio Nuvolato, we've got Palisandro, we've got Calcutta, and then we've got Dolomite White. So um, these are just very, uh, hard sometimes for the customer to understand these series because they're not going to be able to see that same stone in just four different colors. So this is where you really need to take the time, pull the board out of the display, show them the panels on the back so they understand the different variation in each of the different stones. So we, rec we recommend that highly. But in addition to the hexagon mosaic, um, we're going to show you something else. We are now introducing the rhombus. So it's a six by 10 rhombus. They are available in each color and each finish. The great thing about these is that you can install the colors and finishes together. You can create different designs and you can have tons of fun with them. So this is actually the gray, the chariot gray. And then we have the, um, this is the Juno white, I believe. Um, you can do all four colors together. We have some designs we'll show you. You can stick to one color and just multiple finishes. It's a great um, new size. It's very unique. Geometrics are super popular right now, and you can do tons of different things with them. For example, we have over here a mix of Palisandro and Juno White and different finishes as well. So you've got your Robert's going to tell me as a photographer, Marion, you just stay still and then I'll do it. So you've got polished, you've got matte, and you can see them shine. You can make a, an actual hexagon. You can do them in each color. Um, you can also turn these into more of a cube effect. And of course, I love to point out, we're in Texas, y'all. We'll make a star out of everything. You give it to us, and we're going to make a Texas star out of it. So there's the rhombus and your little Texas star. That's the way we do things down here. For those of us that are not from Texas, like myself and Daniel, we just give into it because it's going to happen. There's nothing we can say about it, right? Okay, now we're going to talk about, oh, we're not done yet. Surprise! Here's your rhombus. Here are some actual installations that have been completed using a combination of different colors, different finishes, floor and wall. Now we're going to move on. Modular is a concrete look. Um, it's one of those designs um, that's very specific, and we listen to some of the trends and some of the designers as far as what's happening out there. 
And this is one of those that's a very um, muted, it's a very warm color palette, warm colors becoming very popular. It's got five colors and three of them are that kind of gradation effect. So they're very subtle differences between the colors because that's very popular and you can utilize those very subtle variations in creating um, the design, whether it's a, um, it's a very, um, very minimalistic kind of approach to um, tile. So all four, all five colors are shown. It's got an also 18 by 36 and a 9 by 36 rectified and a 12 by 24 rectified. This is matte finish only, as it's cool linear mosaic, as well as a full trim package. So in addition to the rhombus that we just talked about, we are introducing another cool size, and it is the half hexagon. And the half hexagon is exactly what it's named. So all colors, it's cut out of the tile. I should have mentioned that with Cortina as well. But you can create a full hex. You can create designs showcasing kind of the pattern on the small end versus the large end. And you can, um, as you can see, create designs. You create little floral or windmill patterns. If you're unsure of how to use something like this because it's very different and you feel like there's only so much you can do, go on the internet, just type in half hexagon designs and trust me, you're gonna come up with tons of different ideas on how to utilize um, a unique shape like this. And your customers may not necessarily go for, for everyone, but I promise you that they're gonna see something that's gonna be a really kind of a wow factor for them and they're gonna jump on it, okay? So that's modular. And then finally, we're gonna talk a little bit about Construct. We know it's not a new series. Um, it's become super popular. We introduced it in 2019. Um, it's a concrete look, 18 by 36, 12 by 24. These are not rectified, these are pressed. So we've been talking a lot about rectified in those sizes, so I don't want to confuse you. Um, but the, pop, the, comp, the series has been so popular, including the unique intersex mosaic that's available in all colors. We decided to go ahead and add a full hexagon to this collection. So I think you might know where we're going with this. We'll see. So this is the full hexagon. This is the Silver Tempest. It's available in all colors, again, cut from the tile. So um, you're not gonna have any issues. Um, so the full hexagon is available. It's an add to construct that was already available. Here's the surprise. I don't need your help on this one, Daniel. Okay. You've got your rhombus. rhombus. Right, that we talked about. I'm gonna hold the rhombus. That's in the Cortina. We've got modular, we've got the half hex, we've got construct with the full hex. Here's the cool thing we specifically designed all three of these shapes to install together. I'm gonna do this. Um, this way, okay, to install together. So they are, were, and everyone says, how is that possible? Well, it is, it's truly possible. All three, um, one eighth of an inch grout. We made sure did all of the necessary testing. And here are some examples. We've got the half hex here. We've got the rhombus and we've got the full hex, okay? Over here, we have the full hex and just the rhombus. Just the full hex here. And again, we have the half hex, full hex and the rhombus. So, these were placed together and the grout joint isn't exactly um, intended to be um, perfect there. These are just to show you some design ideas, but as long as you're, um, as with any install, as long as your subfloor is level and you're using the proper grout joint, which is one eighth of an inch, you're gonna be able to install all three pieces together. Um, and if you want some ideas on how to combine these, you can go to innerstromicusa.com. Um, we have under, our inspiration, there's gonna be a pattern tile layout brochure that you can download. And in the back of that, you're gonna find a bunch of different um, layout ideas for all of these individually, as well as combining them together. So feel free to go and take a look at those. Okay, just gonna leave this here. So that's the fun. So let's take a look at some installations as well. So these are some Patterns we put together here, the left, you have the blue voltage construct hex with 
the uh, Gino White Cortina. Here you have to the left is the half, half hex from modular with um, that looks like Pegasus White from Cortina. And the display panel is actually a full hex um, with, I believe, Pegasus White. So it's a very cool kind of diamond effect. Reminds me of playing cards. Um, here's an idea with all three again. You have the half hex, the full hex, and the, the rhombus. Um, more star design. So you got kind of got a mini hexagon and a star for you there. And this is a customer installation um, showcasing just all of the Cortina hex uh, rhombuses with the 12 by 24s. Okay, so we're moving in. We're almost coming down the stretch. And we're going to talk about our two final product launches. But the fun stuff. Well, more fun stuff. We just had some fun. Wall tile. So here we have Ripple and we have Seaside. These are two new um, introductions. These are both produced right here in the USA. Ripple first is here. Ripple's fun. It's super pretty. Obviously, as you can see from the very unique scalloped edges, it was named after the ripple effect of the edges as well as the surface of the tile. It's got beautiful um, uh, soft color palette. Uh, pastels are back. We love to laugh and um, have fun about it because all those four by four pink tiles that you installed 20, 30 years ago, just go ahead and rip them out and put the three by 12 <laughs> ripple pink right back in and bring that bathroom up to date. But um, it's two sizes. It's three by 12, three by six, all gloss. It also has a quarter round and a pencil liner. Seaside is actually more, um, it's kind of inspired by more of that watercolor effect. So very subtle, very soft colors. Also three by 12 and three by six. However, these are available in matte and polished. I um, mean, they have this very soft cushioned edge, um, very much intentionally kind of it, um, it heightens that kind of soft watercolor effect. Um, it has a cord around um, as well as uh, a border and a liner. So mm -hmm. Seaside um, and uh, Ripple. So can you hold the board? I want to point out a couple of things. I want to talk about wall tile just in general for inner ceramic. I don't know if many of you realize it, but um, all of our wall tile is made with continuous lugs. And what we mean by continuous lugs, um, if you can get in closely, you can see that little bit of a ridge, right? Kind of there, right? That goes all the way around the tile. And what that means is our, our wall tiles can literally be butt up against each other. And if you look carefully, you can see in between. Um, that provides the necessary grout joint um, and does allow for grout to go in between the two pieces of tile. So you, it just becomes a preference for your customer. You can use spacers or you don't have to. What it means though for you without using spacers is it's gonna be quicker to install and it's gonna be less expensive because there's um, one fewer step of having to put the spacers in. But it's up to your customer. They may prefer slightly thicker grout joint. So all of our standard glazed wall tile has that continuous lug around the sample, except there's always a caveat, right? Except for Ripple and for Seaside. Because of the kind of rounded soft edge and because of the ripple effect of Ripple, um, you can though, they don't have the continuous lug. You can though still butt them together and you can see through it a little bit and that will still give you a ground joint that you need. Again, if your customer prefers something slightly wider, you can still use spacers, but you don't have to. I know it's probably something that um, you might be unsure of because of, the, because of the edging, but both Seaside and Ripple can be installed just butting the pieces together or they can use spacers. Let's look at some installations because this is where it gets fun and very creative. Oh, Halloween's over. <laughs> <laughs> was that like mm -hmm. the ghost of years past? Yeah. So here you have Seaside mixing in three different colors and just a very random um, herringbone pattern. On the right, you can see all the colors in Ripple um, as well as Seaside. So it's a nice way to show the different color palette. Seaside, we have a combination of the matte and polish installed together, even different sizes. Um, and doing a little basket weave shape there you see in the bottom right hand corner. Um, ripple, when you can catch the light on the surface of Ripple, it's just 
beautiful and fun. You can mix and match all the different colors, um, whatever your, your unique creative customer, you know, wants in their home is what you can give them. Um, you have the Oceanside Blue is on the left. It is a new lot. It is a new color that was added to um, Ripple after we made the board. So there, there is an image of those as well as um, uh, material will be available on subsequent layouts. So I apologize what that is. It's the end of the day and uh, it's all good there. Okay. So here we have on the left hand side, we have um, the ripple light gray as well on the right um, in two different customer showrooms, we have um, more ripple installations. So the image on the left is really fun to talk about. This goes back to something we talked about earlier. This is the dark gray and ripple and on the floor and on the seat and in the niche of that shower is Crescent that we introduced three or four years ago. And it's just one of those um, combinations that you think to yourself, gosh, I never would have thought to go in and pull Crescent out of the display, but darn if it doesn't look really amazing with that dark gray ripple. And then on the right, you have um, the ripple white and more of a kind of a vertical kind of mimics the idea of shift lap there. Um, with the Cortina uh, chariot right on the floor. Go very monochromatic, black floor, floor black wall. Um, and to the right here is showing blushes is, is, is back and we've got available in a couple of different series. This is another really kind of unique way to show pre product in your showroom. Find a, you know, a surface where you have a little bit of space and, you know, set up some designs, some mood boards, right? Pull a couple of different um, coordinating collections together and show how that they complement each other. That's great for you to do. It's easy for you to update in your showroom. Um, and it's great to provide inspiration to your customers. So before we leave wall tile, I also want to talk about, it's not just about the tile. Don't forget about how important grout can be, whether it's floor or wall, but we're going to focus on some wall examples here. You can use coordinating or contrasting grouts. This is a great example of how you can show, this was a, this was a wheelhouse, we call it a box mosaic. It's literally a little box shape. Um, most people will show it as you see it on the left. Um, and it's just a coordinating dark um, mosaic, or you can just a quarter turn is showing it with white, creates a completely different design. And it's stunning when you can see the two side by side. Or just do, you know, if you, depending on the design, you know, a contrasting grout, like, a black grout with a white wall tile just provides a completely different look. So this is our ripple white showcase in the same room and how different it looks with the black grout versus the white grout. And yes, I'm going to show this to you because people will get excited about it. This to your left is seaside white and we had a little fun with it showcasing it with some pink grout. Um, pink grout is actually colored grout period is very on trend right now. You or I may not want it in our bathroom, but I guarantee you all, many of you will get customers that walk into your showroom and will see something like this in a magazine and say, I want this beautiful, whimsical bathroom with pink grout. So just be prepared for those questions. <laughs> and also on the right, it's just a very different look. It's kind of fun. It's actually a painted wall with the half hexagon from Modular, um, creating the design and not grouted. So that paint gives the illusion showing through of a colored grout but it, it isn't. And then the next added benefit is a gift dimension to that wall. So painted walls with a, you know, a, geogram, a geometric design uh, from a geometric shape can add dimension and add fun to each design. Okay, so that's the end of our product portion of this uh, presentation. Just wanna take a few minutes to tell you that first, you know, in light of COVID, um, we know you're all kind of getting back into the groove of things some more so than others, depending on where you live. And we appreciate your time today because we know that you're um, probably kind of getting used to getting back to work, but make sure you clean your displays down at the end of the day. Give your customers that just kind of security that um, you're taking care and you're thinking of their health and safety when they come into your showrooms. We know it's a lot, you have a lot of displays. So we always like to just recommend you start with the Interstromic display. That way if you can't get to them all, at least ours is nice and pretty and shiny. Also, don't forget about the launch summary brochures we talked about earlier in the presentation. 
It's going to go through everything we talked about today. Um, it's a great tool. You can keep it um, close by and use it as a reference um, day after day. Also, you can, in addition to spending some time with me today, if you'd like to get more about information on the background and inspiration of each series, please visit us um, on YouTube. You can uh, check our YouTube channel out at youtube.com slash C slash USA. Very strange, I know. Uh, YouTube.com slash C slash USA. First thing when you go there, subscribe. We have a lot of product videos that you can utilize in your showrooms. We have a lot, we'll have a lot of um, tutorials and educational and inspirational um, series coming up next year. So um, you're going to be able to gain a lot of content that you'll be able to use in your day to day. But um, if you go there, after you subscribe, go into the tile collections, the first video you'll see is the InnoStarma tile launch with Diego Chavez. He's our product manager. Grab a wine, grab a beer, some snacks, sit back. Um, if you have your launch brochure, have it handy and you can follow along. And Diego, Diego will give you a great presentation and give you a lot of behind the scenes on those series. So as you leave today, um, don't forget we have a we have a comprehensive, complete portfolio. Um, you know, door body, ceramic, door tech porcelain, our wall tile, as well as our natural stone. Um, we have 44 plus collections in door body ceramics, um, over 48 in door tech porcelain and growing exponentially this year. Of course, our wall tile made right here in the US, 15 collections. And our stone um, has probably one of the most beautiful packages, but pretty much one of the, I think one of the best mosaic programs that we have available. So um, don't forget, we have all of this available for you. We inventory right here in the USA to support you. So if you were to leave today and take away three key points, what would they be? One would be design. I think we've proven just by looking around this room, all of the different design options we have available for you, as well as how you can coordinate them with each other, as well as stone or, um, you know, obviously with each other, but different sizes and, and um, shapes and finishes that offer you endless design options to share with your customers. Marketing. I'd like to say we have, you know, some of the best marketing um, in the industry. Don't forget all the tools that we talked about earlier. You have your displays, your display boards, and your designer boards, your tile labels, your postcards. We inventory all of them here in the USA. So if you're unsure and you didn't realize and you have questions about them, call your distributor and we'll be able to answer all your questions. Also, social media. Utilize us. Utilize us as an extension of your social media strategy. Anytime you have anything going on with InnoStramic or you just want to take a shout out, Tag us at InnoStramic USA. You have a customer who just purchased the new product, whether it be a rhombus or a hexagon or one of our cool cement tile looks from uh, Form. Um, take a picture of your customer, post it on social media, tag us. We're going to share that and then we're going to give you added exposure um, for your business. So again, use us as an extension of your social media. And finally, service. Our InnoStramic team as well, like our InnoStramic team, as well as our distributors, um, our inventory that we have available here for you in the US, um, we're here to help you become successful. So make sure you rely on our team to provide you with all of the information and tools that you need to achieve that success. So with that said, normally we would take questions and answers. Um, I think we've covered you know, a lot of questions that have come up through many of these presentations, we've covered pretty much everything. Um, one question I know that we get a lot, just so you're aware, we are going to be sharing all the pictures in this presentation with your distributors. Um, so if you have, if you do want to utilize them or you'd like to get a hold of them, contact your distributor sales rep and they will get in touch with InnoStronic and provide them to you. So thank you again for your time today. And uh, we wish you much success in 2020, and we're all looking forward to 2021. Have a great day.